Quinn Huggins played unbelievable. I mean, she was a warrior tonight. I'm, I'm sitting here looking at the stats. I mean, she, she just did so many different things for us tonight. 17 points, but she was a presence on defense, and she's going to get better. It's a good feeling having to get a good team win like this, including like especially when obviously I had a good shooting night. But you know, I just got to keep in mind that we have to keep doing the stuff that we're taught in practice and the fundamentals and everything. And, but it was a good team effort today. As a team, you guys had come in playing some pretty good defense. You did it again against a strong UMass offense. Well, what are you seeing from your defense you think that's allowed them to be so successful? Well, uh, we're buying into, we have kids who really buy into what we are trying to teach. And, uh, you know, the thing about it, we have different people step up every game. I mean, like tonight, I mean, how, how strong was coming off the bench Amar Gray? I mean, she was incredible. And then uh, Valeria Tapia, I mean, I got two point guards. That, that are just taking care of business. Marie Fatou Gaye from France came off what minute she played tonight. She was incredible. You know, Dow came in big for you guys today too. Quite a few assists oh for her. Oh she's everywhere. I, I think she could be the best uh, defensive player in the line. Uh, I really do because she'll defend you and she'll fight you and she's got a lot of fire. Megan, Megan Johnson tonight was, was just super. And you know, it, it just goes back. Chrissy I mean, Sampson, I mean, it, you know, her shot's a little bit off. I mean, she could have had about 20 tonight with the shots, and she's working hard. Got 10 rebounds, and, you know, it's what an effort. It didn't seem like you guys could break any more records after back-to-back-to-back 19 win seasons, but this is the first time this program has had a 7-2 and two start. What does it mean to bring that kind of success to the non-conference schedule? Well, I would rather be 8-1. and one. <laughs> We got UTSA within 18 hours, so we got to be ready to play. But, again, it goes back. We got a deep bench. We got a deep in. Speaking of UTSA game, what do you guys need to do to recover and be prepared for UTSA tomorrow? I'm going to make them go jump in the ice baths and make them get in cold showers. That's, that's what our trainer, Randy Leninger, will get them to do. And that's what's got to happen.